Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Include. Let's play episode 156. In this episode I want to do a few things basically in preparation for our or continuing our rocket uh, to retrofitting. Uh, this area I've kind of decided I want to actually use to heat up carbon dioxide that we're pumping from here uh, or basically fine-tune the temperature of carbon dioxide that's coming out from here uh, and, and it's basically set up like a, a stable of slickster ranches up here. Once we've kind of got our breeding program in place down here because um, we're still sort of pumping up the numbers down here. We'll take some slicksters up top and then that's I think how we'll use the CO2 uh, is that we'll actually just kind of heat it up in sight and uh, pump it out to some slicksters here and that's where the heat uh, the heat's gonna go effectively to maintain our uh, liquid oxygen cooling. At the same time we're gonna need to expand out our liquid oxygen storage which means I need to move all this stuff which means I kinda of wanna do a few things. Also need to move the rest of this here so we're gonna do a little few ventilation changes. Uh, ventilation, gas pipe, let's go ahead and hook up uh, these. That way they pump out to uh, the rest of this here. We can actually go ahead and say um, ventilation gas pipe. We can actually disconnect uh, this right here. For now just let these drain out and then we'll have the space. Uh, I think we're gonna have a second rocket in our rocket tube. We're just going to double up on rockets is the plan. Um, and eventually we'll basically rebuild a wall right here uh, and have a pump that'll pump uh, CO2 into this room and then CO2 reaches a certain temperature uh, it'll be pumped out to the uh, to the Slickster Ranch. But I also want to clear out um, this space over here for the increase in our uh, liquid oxygen storage. Uh, and so to that end I'd kind of like to drain all the hydrogen out of this system and move it over to here. Also, just I think it's time to turn our oxygen production back online. Um, so we want to set everything up for that as well. So basically the plan is that I'm going to deconstruct this pipe right here. And then I'm going to have a line. Uh, I can basically just deconstruct this. And then we'll have uh, whoops, ventilation, gas pipe, igneous rock is still fine. We'll have this go into here, and then we will have uh, these flow out to here, and we'll get all the hydrogen out of the system that way. Um, and then we can basically just also go ahead and hook these up sort of correctly by doing this. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to click out. And deconstruct, deconstruct. A little bit of hydrogen leak out, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, it's all just going to collect up here anyways, where we kind of want it to be to cool down stuff. But yeah, we're going to turn our electrolyzer back online. Um, we've, we've got a little bit low in terms of oxygen in the place. Um, like this area is kind of in the blue area. Uh, there's some purple here, right? Uh, basically because we're just running out of the, um, the uh, polluted water that we had producing all the oxygen before. And I think we're not going to start the polluted oxygen or polluted water thing back up again. I think we'll just stick with electrolysis just because it's a, a little bit more straightforward. But yeah, um, this should allow us also uh, ventilation, gas pipe, igneous rock. Uh, we're just going to pretty sloppily run this across here and hook it up uh, over here. We'll use a gas bridge that we were not complete slobs about our uh, about our system here. Um, actually, do we want to do that here? Um, good question. Um, I kind of want to have this after where the other place connects. Um, but there's not really a good way to do that, is there? Uh huh. You know what? Let's uh let's tackle this a slightly different way. Let's uh cancel this and say uh whoops, not that. Gas pipe, igneous rock. We'll connect it up here, and then we will also go ahead and uh do something like this. So anytime you have a gas bridge, um, there is a priority to taking the gas bridge, but then it also waits. Like there's no, it, it has second priority when it uh, is is entering the tile that it enters into. Um, so 
Oh, I actually have this. No, I have this correct, right? Um, we are entering in here, exiting here. Yeah, and we should just fill up this area over here. And then we're going to expand out storage a little bit in this area as well. Uh, I keep on clicking the wrong thing. Gas reservoir, iron ore's fine. Just slap down a few more of these bad boys. I'll cross here. Um, and then we will uproot this. And ventilation, gas pipe, igneous rock. We'll just continue on our sloppy uh, way here. We'll need to dig out a lot of the sand ultimately. Uh, there's no space exposure until we get up to here though, so we won't be uh, having any, any problems with that. Um, is that everything? Let's go ahead and start things up and uh, let people run a bit here. Also, any little spills I see anywhere, I want to start mopping up. The medicine system has changed. Uh, I'm not sure how severe hypothermia is, but we might actually need to, to start caring about that sort of stuff uh, at this point. <laughs> Maybe, who knows. It's grabbing Phosphorite, that's great. Uh, this is set to activate if above 60, that's fine. Looks like we have enough water for everything there. Okay. So we're going to get this built, and then we are going to have uh, water start flowing into here. In fact, how soon until we can just start this thing up? If we just say priority, like, 7 on... Uh, what happened here? Priority... Seven on this and this. Oh, and on uh, on this. Uh, sorry, there's some lag here. Did we get everything? Are we good to go? Ventilation overview. Okay, once this gets built, then we can turn the system back on and uh, be fine. That'll start resupplying our oxygen up to here and all sorts of good stuff. So let's uh, go ahead, we'll enable this building. Oops. Insufficient resources, hydrogen, yep. This uh, hydrogen generator should be online though, right? I don't need to enable it. Yeah, okay, good. And basically we'll power this up again and it'll start consuming water and uh, all sorts of good stuff like that. And then we'll start getting more oxygen, hydrogen, etc. This is maybe an excessive number of pumps. We might want to go back through and uh, change the capacity of our uh, electrolysis systems. So this should now be basically self-sufficient, right? Hydrogen will flow down to here. It'll keep this thing on. We'll have a net gain of hydrogen. And we're back to just pumping a bunch of oxygen out everywhere. Um, and then this system yeah, this is a little awkward, the fact that we have this connected, isn't it? Um, I mean, once this disconnects, then that, that'll stop. But uh, until then, I guess we'll just be a little bit awkward. Okay. Looking good. Um, I want to turn these on at some point. We kind of want to pump out this water first. Um, 12 plus... 22, 24 tiles, plus another 36. So we're about 64 tiles, which means uh, we're gonna need about 13 more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish. So we're gonna need like another layer here, basically. I think that's doable. Um, so tile, igneous rock is fine. Dig out across here and say base. Uh, liquid reservoir, iron ore's fine. Boom, 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 boom. And just have this run back the other way. And I think that should be enough to pump out all of the water that we have left in this area. And some more sort of awkward pipe. Get this all in series. Series is what you need if you want to minimize your lag. Make it a very simple system. Alright, cool. Looking good. 
So this area is now at 95, 96, somewhere between that and like 80s around here where we have this thing. Um, that's fine. So this area, or at least a good chunk of it, we're going to convert into petroleum heating. And this is going to be our crude oil heating. And then we're going to have um, some uh, refineries, petroleum refineries up here to process the crude oil into petroleum. Uh, but basically, this area is going to be crude oil. This area is going to be petroleum. Here's going to be where we have our heating taking place. I might need to adjust these walls a little bit. Uh, but that's the, the general gist. And then the CO2 that we have in here, we're going to pump out into here and uh, uh, heat it up, get our liquid oxygen, and, uh, and operate on, on that end. So that's looking good. I don't think... Originally, part of the plan was maybe we just would freeze. The, we, we would basically condense the carbon dioxide um, into liquid carbon dioxide and pump it out, but I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, instead, I think basically we're going to have this entire area just sealed off uh, and use it for um, heat generation to uh, work with some, some uh, petroleum boiling. And yeah, so I also think I want to start um, expanding our rocket area. That's going to be a big part of what we do. And that means basically having our rocket to continue out along here. And that also means kind of having our shielding continue out a little bit further as well. So um, let's go ahead and give an order to dig out this area. They'll go and grab some more. Uh, they'll go ahead and grab some more iron while they're up there. Let's just extend this out a little bit further. I'm going to have another rocket start like right here we are sorry one two three four five six seven and then one two three four five six seven and then scaffolding let's say and pipe and then the wall will be right here i think that is the plan let me just make a little mark so i remember um so i think this is where we're going to have the wall and so we want to extend out just a little bit further like so i think is good and we will also extend out our bunker tile. Uh, I guess we'll make it bunker tile for now. Um, let's just dig out a little bit like this for now. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. So we'll clear out this, uh, extend this out a little bit further, dig out here, uh, and then start setting up or expanding our, uh, our rocket tube effectively. That's the plan. And we want to clear out maybe this area for the Sixter Ranch. Technically, we don't need the Sixter Ranches here. It might actually be better just have them be like over here. Um, I'd kind of like to get this hydrogen out before we do that, if we're going to go down that road. Um, what is going on here? We don't have these built, so it's not going out yet. That's fine. Base, tile, igneous rock. Uh, get some foundation for that. Dig out that if you haven't. Oh, they're going to dig it out already. All right, cool. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave this area the way it is right now. It's just too much hassle right now to clear this out and deal with the polluted water and the gases and everything like that. So and I kind of want to have more space for my Slickster Ranch, even if it means breaking into a larger area over here, which is also going to have problems. Right? We kind of have the same sort of issues, but it's somewhere further away from all this hoi polloi. Um, do I have oxygen coming back up here now? I do, right? All right. These systems are pretty unnecessary here, but we'll just leave them for now. Um, yeah, we need to not have our hydrogen system back up as it's about to. So let's go ahead and say priority, I don't know, eight on this stuff. I want this stuff built bad, because I need that hydrogen flowing. If the system backs up, then it starts putting hydrogen into our oxygen line. Just not what we want, and we're getting pretty close to that. All right, there's not a whole lot of space left here. So get this built, please. Start getting stuff flowing out here. Um, in fact, we might already be just a little bit too late. Um, yeah, are we? It's going to do a mix of both. No, that, uh, yeah, we ought to be fine. Okay. So that works fine. 
What does this connect to? This is just our backup. Sure. Fine with me. Okay. Uh, and so let's also start working on digging out this area over here that we're going to use. And I think for now we're just going to extend out a ladder up along here. Where does space exposure start? Space exposure starts there. Okay. Uh, build out the ladder, I don't know, around here. That's far enough. And start digging out any and all of this junk. New printables available. What do we got? Diver's lungs. Perfect. And has allergies. This is not something I've seen before. Allergies is a new thing in the, uh, in the update. Sneeze uncontrollably when exposed to pollen and other irritants. Huh. So maybe our, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe having a bunch of barracks, dorms, bedrooms, whatever, that all have plants in them as a decoration is not going to be what this person likes. And they have an interest in suit wearing. So this is uh, the first time we've seen suit wearing as an interest as well. Interesting. Anyways, they have divers lungs, so they're joining the base. It's that simple. Oh, um, that was another thing I wanted to work on. We want to expand out our uh, our mess areas. In fact, let's just let's just quick and sloppy create a little extra area over here. I think. Um, oh, and we also would like to have a proper med bay somewhere. You know, let's just set up. We'll set up a grand hall here. Pretty simple. Um, furniture. Mess table. Make these out of gold. Uh, just across, like, like so. We'll toss in a water cooler. Make it out of granite, and then we'll uh, get a few paintings up in here. Portrait canvases. Sure. Make them out of gold. Let's get some nice portrait canvas up in here. Yeah, just excessive amounts of decor in this room, please. And then I won't have to sweep it up. <laughs> That's the plan. Just ignore all the garbage on the floor. We're just gonna paint over it. It'll be brilliant. Okay, um, so this is what I have from, do I need more research in something? There are new research categories as well. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, I'm down with that. Let's then go ahead and get all this done. Sounds like a plan. Um, so there are triage cots. Cool. Uh, for now, let's just stick a bunch of triage cots in here. And uh, plumbing, lavatory, make this out of iron. Just reset up our room just for the moment. Um, actually, are there new requirements? Are there new room requirements? That would be important to know. Uh, med bay. Medical bed, toilet, mess table. No, it's still the same. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Let's just get our med bay back up and running and we'll have a, a, one of these as well. And let's go ahead and uh, set all these doors to open. This whole base layout is actually really poor for FPS and lag and whatnot, but... I don't know. We're... I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's really hard right now to have the motivation to play the game. Cause I just, I almost just wanna wait till the game releases and start a new base. Cause I, once I start thinking about all the ideas that I have for a new base, I, I just get obsessed with it. And it's all I can think about. And I'm, even though there are like important things that I still wanna do in this base that, that will help inform how I wanna play the next base, right? Like uh, basically what we're limiting ourselves to is like experiments, right? Um, to, to figure out a lot of this stuff. Like, does, can we make an internal rocket bay work for petroleum rockets? Worked fine for steam rockets, worked great for steam rockets, but would it work in this context, right? Um, stuff like that is important. And like the, the sort of the easy build, uh, where are you running off to? This is how you, okay, you're grabbing iron. I understand. I was like, if you were, can you dig? Can you run this way? Can you, what can you do? How you doing there, buddy? Nails. Oh, you're the, you're the the bad nails, aren't you? You're not the good nails. 
Are you the lame nails? Wow. This is not your day, nails. <laughs> you know what? Let's uh let's save private nails over here. Nails, you gotta you gotta at least try and dig yourself out. What are you doing? You're literally just standing here. Nails. Come on now. Come on now, nails. Oh my goodness. What what are you guys doing? You just got you just chilling out. There's there's a way down. There's a way down, by the way. Oh man, their pathfinding is struggling. Yeah, we really need to optimize this base quite a bit more. But it, it's hard to summon, like, these are, a lot of the things that we have left, some of them are really interesting, right? A lot of them, though, are just sort of the stuff I don't, I don't really enjoy doing. They're just kind of like, I've done it a million times before. Like, we j literally just built a pipe system that was bad <laughs> and going to add to, add to the, the CPU usage, but we didn't care because I just, anyways. Cancel this, please. Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right, so making some progress there. Not bad. Um, making progress on research. How are we going on the pump? Oh yeah, these need to be. Let's just tear these down for now. Construct these insulated tiles. We'll build them back, but for now, because uh, I think we're actually going to we can condense this down. What is the? Uh... No, I actually have it set up where I. Oh wait, that's a... hmm. Um, did I add space? I did, although the hookup would have to go like that. Yeah, okay, I guess we aren't. I added another hookup. I have a hookup here for another uh, thermal regulator. We can also connect these up, because right now the thermal regulators, they don't have the output pipe. We need to do this one this last bit of piping. But I'm not turning them on soon anyways. I don't, I don't want to... I want to start running them uh, before I have all the water pumped out because I don't see a reason to cool down this water. Right? We can just pump out the water and focus our cooling on the CO2. Okay. Wow, we are chugging through that research. So, severe sicknesses. Um. Actually, do they have they changed what hand sanitizers run on? We don't have a renewable source of bleach stone on this map. We don't have a chlorine vent at all on this map, which is usually like I don't like chlorine vents, but having one is actually kind of kind of nice. It doesn't have to be that big of a one because there's otherwise it isn't a renewable resource really. Uh, that isn't what I wanted to see. Um, uh, disease. How does this work now? Killed by gas, disinfected by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pickled, sure. Floral scents. There are floral scents. And zombie spores. Zombie spores. What? And it looks like it's a, a thing that happens in the... Oh no. Is there like crazy stuff in my petroleum biome now? It'd be weird if they spawned it, but ah oh, man, this again makes me want to restart. Once you start thinking about your second base or your next base though, then your base is over. You just I'm literally I'm drawing up like diagrams for how I want to do the next base and the things I want to do. I have I have a whole challenge plan that I've, that I've put a little bit of thought into and uh, the way that the new mechanics work and everything like that I think it's going to be really cool well we have put out a lot of CO2 over here I guess a lot of it has fallen down from here yeah, we want to get the CO2 down to here ideally um, we'd like to pump this down to Slicksters uh this is our oxygen line. Oh, we do not have oxygen going in here anymore now because we turned off our other system. Um, awkward. Awkward indeed. Um, yeah, we'll we'll ignore that for now. <laughs> um, 
Some more mop jobs, please. There's no water coming from up here, right? How's water getting here? Maybe I just didn't mop it up earlier. It's probably people carrying ice and whatnot. Because uh, they're running it down over to here. Yeah, alright. Well, let's let things run. If I... I have rummaged through these, apparently. Okay. Allergic reaction. Yeah, you're uh, you're struggling there, Bubbles, because we got all these plants here. Yeah. Okay. That's it's a little awkward. Um. But hey, Bubbles, guess what? Uh, you only need to go in here to get your food. So you know how often you're gonna have to do that. <laughs> Oh boy. Floral scents. Okay, let's... We have to actually read up what this does now. This is a new one. Uh, temperature range negative 10 to 100 degrees, so we're not going to get rid of it through temperature. Pressure range is fine. Disinfects on pretty much everything. Right? Like this is... Are there, are there plants that don't generate it? Uh, wrong overlay. Like, we have our buddy buds here. What about... I guess these plants are all dead. We have... Buddy buds. Hoyas, Mirthleaf. Is it just buddy buds? Is it just the buddy buds that create these? It looks like it's just buddy buds. Buddy buds cause allergic reactions, huh? Um... Huh. But allergic people do not like them. Says it has a positive effect on morale, but I don't see... I mean, I, not that I really need positive effects on morale. This guy's morale is 32 out of 9. Uh, do we just uproot our buddy bud? Like, it should be dying on all surfaces, right? Dying on oxygen, 88% dead per cycle. I guess we could just re remove the buddy buds. I mean, maybe we just keep them in some places. And we have our friend Bubbles. This duplicate is stuffing their face as a result of stress. Oh, that is that is awkward. Why are you stressed? Morale is 15 out of 0. Uh, the spores. The spores is causing 200% per cycle. Okay. And that's awkward because eating is what causes you to expose yourself to the spores. Interesting. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, I mean, binge eating is fine. We have plenty of... Uh, I guess we just want to get rid of our buddy bud. Because it's not anything else, right? Like, these are all fine. It's literally just the buddy bud. Okay. Um, yeah, uproot all of our buddy butt, I guess. Awkward. Alright, well, I'm going to cut the episode here. Already encountering our new changes to the system. Uh, well, hmm. Maybe we just go, go ham. Let's get rid of all of it, you know? We have one allergic person in the base now. The very first person we brought back in. Uh, uh after, after starting. Okay. Buddy buds. You're out, and uh, I thought it was Mirthleaf that. Oh, this is the hue, the hue, and then Buddy Buds. Hmm, no, I thought one of them. I thought the, the prior. Huh. Before the the update, I thought it was that there in the in the uh, flavor description of of Mirthleaf, it was that it released the spores or whatever. And instead, it's the buddy bud that does it. Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to cut things here. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.